I'm going to show you how to create a KDP book cover, a paperback cover in Canva for your Amazon paperback book for completely free. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to google.com and type in KDP cover calculator so we can get the dimensions of our book. So I already did that and I will link this link in the description. Um, binding type, let's get started. We're going to enter our book information so we can have the details of the size and everything it needs to be. So this is a paperback. Interior type, I will go to black and white. Paper type, white paper. Page turn direction, left to right. Measurement units is inches. And trim size, the most standard trim size is six by nine. And um, yeah, that's just a regular size book. If you want something bigger, like a workbook or something or a coloring book, I will go eight and a half by 11. That's the most second popular size. But for this tutorial, we're doing six by nine and page count will be 75. So once you have that, you will go to calculate dimensions. So yep, that white button right there, but don't stop now because we have to download this template. So go to download template and your download should pop up up there. You're gonna need that. Okay, so the only thing we need to worry about on this page is the full cover because we're doing a full cover for our book. And it's gonna give you something that looks kind of like this so we can kind of see the direction we're going when we're in Canva and make sure all our margins are right so nothing's going outside the margins. So let's get started. Um, so we need the length and the height in inches. So we will copy that and then we go over to canva.com Go to create a design, custom size, and then we will change this to inches. Make sure to do this first. Change that over to inches. You type in that width, and then you go back over and you type in that height. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that. And then we go to create new design. All right, now we want to go over to our uploads. Um, well, first you have to download it. So <laughs> download your um, cover and then go over to your uploads. Go to upload file, find your file. I already have it in here. So I want to click on that. Once you download it and put it in your little image gallery, you want to download it and up um, upload it. So um, let's go and we're going to just spread this thing out so we can work on this and make sure not to go outside the margins. So once you spread that out by just grabbing the end and dragging it over, you want to click on it and then go to this button right up here that says transparency. It looks like a little grid. Click on that and we're going to make a little transparent so we can do our work over it. Don't worry because we're going to get rid of this later, but we just need to be able to eyeball it, you know, and make sure everything is going to be where it needs to be. Okay, and then we're going to just lock that in place. Don't worry, we'll um, get rid of that later. That just makes sure it doesn't move and bother us later when we're doing this. Okay, so I actually already have my front cover, but if you don't, um, the first thing I would do is go over to Elements and try to find something like, say if your book is about candle making. Let's see, candles or photos of candles or something, I don't know. And then I would just, you know, upload that or, you know, whatever but I already have my front cover so we're going to start with that so let's go back over to uploads um first thing I'm going to do though is do my little no I'm going to I'm going to start with this but I want to add this image but if I add it here it gets crazy see look so if you just try to upload an image that you already have it looks crazy and it just does that so what we're going to do is go over to elements and find what is it one you just want to find a grid pretty much grid and then we want to find something that's like tall and rectangular so we can kind of put our little thing over there i'll just put one by two grid because that's where i found it last time one by two grid because i was going to do two separate sides but that didn't work so that's why I just did one because I, I don't need the second side. So I'm going to select this one. I was trying to do that one and it didn't work. I didn't like the way it was sizing it down. So let's try this one. And then we're just going to add our image in here. 
Now, if you already have an image that you want to put on your cover, this is great too. Um, so now we're going to go back over to uploads and find the image that you want to add to your cover. If you don't already have a cover, then you can do your thing. And then we're just going to resize this by dragging it. Mm -hmm. Like so. It might take you a little while, but it'll get there eventually. You want to make sure that, that everything's in there. And that it looks like the corners around it, so that's kind of annoying, but we will work it out because we're going to put uh, um, something back there anyway. So you'll see. Okay, so that's good enough for me. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is go over to elements and find a square. So you can just search in here or you can go over to shapes and just find a square. But here's our square right here. So click on that. And then we're going to change the color of it. But the great thing, if you upload image already, you can kind of even if you find an image in Canva that you want to use, it's nice so you can go and find the photo colors and we're going to use that pretty blue. And we're just going to spread it all the way around. And then I'm going to mess with this transparency for now. So let's go back over to that little grid. There we go. Because I want to um, add, you know, my back cover and I want to make sure all the words are looking good. So. We're going to do that for now. And then we're going to go to layer and then send backwards. No, actually, it'll it'll be fine like that. We'll do that later. Okay, so next we want to add our text to the back cover. Um, so we will go over to the text and go over to hitting. Okay. So you want a hitting for your first little thing. I already have it in this Google Doc. Basically what I use is my description for the book for my back cover. Um, I just use like some of the bold points and things like that. I think I'm gonna take some of this out. Okay, and um, oh. so we want to copy that and paste it or type whatever you want for your back cover. I like that it's white on there, so I'm going to make this white. Since that text is white, that the designer did, it's going to look better once this is, you know, not as transparent. But, or I could make that little green. Huh. Well, there's options out here. Let's see. <laughs> Even if I wanted to make it green, we can go to document colors and make it that little yellowish green. Okay, or whatever, whatever you want to do. And maybe I'll make the text white. So then I would go over, well, first let's get the text, right? Take that out of here so I don't get annoyed. Okay, so let's go to the body. Okay, and the body. So this is going to be, you know, all the text you have. Everything you want to say in your book cover. And then we're going to copy that and paste it over here. Whoa, that's way too big. Let's do uh, 13 or something. Let's take this down to 13. Why is it? Can I just type 13 in here? Yeah. There we go. Eight. That's too small. Okay. Oh, my. I'm just going to erase this and just delete this whole thing. Jeez. They know they wrong for this. Delete, delete, delete. Let's go to select all. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go. Delete. Oh my goodness. See? Technical difficulty. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's go to body and then let's try it again. They're out of control though. Maybe because I made that so big. Let's just put that, in. let's just keep it like this. So heed my warning. Do not stretch it out like that. Let's just keep it like this and then copy and paste it because if you do it too big like that, it's obviously not very nice to you. So let's copy this and try it again. There we go. See, you, can, you just can't do it too big, which I guess makes sense. This is a lot of text. I don't even know if I want all this in here. That's not all going to fit. I don't like it. Oops. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to have to erase some of this stuff. So let's just move this up here. Take your, you know, take your time. You got to be patient with it because this is a lot. Okay. Yeah, that's too much text. We're going to take out this. We got to take out something. That's way too much text. All right, let's erase something. Let's all erase all of this. It's just an example, but you see what I mean. Just um, <laughs> if you got too much text, people are not going to like it. So, yep. That's way too small, too. Like. Let's um, increase this text. Okay, that looking a little better. We still need to erase some stuff. I'm about to just erase all these questions. Okay. So anyway, um, that's that. Let's change this text color. This is just an example anyway, but you can um, do your thing. And, you know, get it the way you want it. So let's highlight that by going, taking your mouse and going like that. And then we're going to make this text color white, like we said, from the photo colors. Or we can do that pink. No. Yeah, that's better. Okay. It'll look better once the blue is, uh, you know, more bold. Okay, anyway, last but not least, just add, if you want to add your author photo, you can. You don't have to, obviously. So just get a little photo of yourself and then put it out there and then you can have your little about to offer. If you want to click on this and go to edit photo, we can remove the background. So click that, go to Magic Studio background remover and you're good to go. And then, um, and we don't want that outside the margins and we don't want this text outside the margins. You got to think about that too. As you can see this little pink area back here yeah. All right. So we can do that and then add another text box and put this in here. But this is a lot, a lot of text. So just keep that in mind. And you could put a little blurb about yourself, but I'm not even going to get into that because we already wasted too much time. OK, so the next thing you want to do is I just want you all to get a gist of this is go up to the spine. I mean, go up to shapes, elements. I don't know why I put in spine. That's not going to help anybody. And then research, <laughs> research elements. And then we're going to go to rectangle for the shapes um well is that it? i guess that's technically a rectangle this thing will size anywhere i love it we just um want to take that and bring it in if you want to have a custom spine you have to have 79 pages or more i know i just missed the mark but you can make a custom text here if you wanted to for your spine you can go and change the color of your spine and do your thing um you know, so it won't be as harsh. You could use a gradient. So you could just type in gradient so that maybe the colors can blend. Gradient. Okay. So the colors can blend and do that way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
So yeah, you have different options if you want to add a spine or if you just want to keep it like that, you can. So I guess I would um, change that color to, <laughs> yeah, something like that. That would be cute. All right, so the next thing we want to do is make sure everything is inside the lines, the margins. So let's, um, so we have this, the line, remember the margins are right here and you don't want that printing outside of here we have the barcode right here okay um i think this might be a little outside the margins let's make it transparent let's um solidify this yeah that looks way better once it's actually done okay so we're going to left click or click on that left click and go to layer and we're going to go to send backwards okay so we can find this and then we're going to see if this looks good inside the um the thing but i think let's make this gradient um transparent again so that looks good now let's worry about this make that transparent Make sure that's inside the lines. And I'm judging by this over here since it's not letting me um, do it over there. And looks like I do need to move that up a little bit more so it can be inside like up here. Yeah, it looks like that'll fit in there. That'll fit in there. Yeah, that's above the um, the pink too. So yeah, that's good. Um, okay. So we're going to click back over here and transparency. There we go. So that's an example of something you can do a little bit, something like that. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's a, it's a start if you want to make your own little cover. Um, you just make sure to use your shapes and your sizes and you're good to go pretty much. And then you would just go to share and then save as download and then save it as a PDF and then upload it over in your paperback content and then you're able to view it view your manuscript too i already have mine's over here but upload your manuscript and you're good to go so yes that is how you create your beautiful cover by yourself and keep it moving even if you already have your front cover you can just do your back cover by yourself no need to outsource it or you could just outsource it on fiverr or wherever and get your designs good to go so thanks for watching and let me know what you think about this have you ever created your own book cover um, let me know in the comments below or if you have any questions and make sure to subscribe